All right, don't mess with Texas, though, or their jobs. Governor Greg Abbott going on the offensive to protect Texans' livelihoods from the Biden administration's climate agenda. Texas is going to protect the oil and gas industry from any type of hostile attack launched from Washington, D.C. I have with me an executive order that I'm about to sign that will direct every state agency to use all lawful powers and tools to challenge any federal action that threatens the strength, the vitality, or the independence of the energy industry in Texas. Let's bring in now Texas Land Commissioner George P. Bush. Good morning, George. Good morning. So let's dive into what Governor Abbott just laid out. What lawful means, what tools does Texas have to push back against any executive orders from President Biden? Well, first, as it relates to the Keystone Pipeline, our office is assessing the exposure that we have to the state portfolio to the pipeline and seeking injunctive relief. In other words, trying to pause the action of this dangerous liberal progressive uh, idea. Uh, as it relates to the freezing of the federal leasing on oil and gas uh, production, uh, thankfully, Texas is not controlled by the feds. But if you look at blue states like New Mexico, uh, half of their production potentially will be frozen. And they're looking at a billion dollar hit to their upcoming budget because of this action alone at the stroke of a pen. So it's a very dangerous precedent that's being set by the president and the, and the governor rightfully is standing up for an important industry for our state. You know, I think the governor gave that press conference yesterday out in West Texas and Midland Odessa area. We've talked to various people in the last couple of days from South Dakota and other areas across this country. You mentioned New Mexico, where job losses could be immediate when it comes to these executive orders. So what is Texas looking at when it comes to job losses from the energy sector? Well, the pandemic already had an impact. If you look at the beginning of the pandemic when oil was priced negatively, it certainly had its impact, but if there's a resilient industry, it's the oil and gas industry. Who can forget during the Obama recession in, in 09, it was actually the oil and gas industry that created one out of every three new jobs nationally, um, just in oil producing states like, like ours. And so for the president to talk about job creation and to go against the wishes of even union, union leaders and several Democrats in the Congress that are in oil producing states to implement these orders is, again, it's a hostile takeover of an important industry that's a lifeblood for the nation's economy. Absolutely. Let's take a quick look at what we're talking about here. Are President Biden's executive orders to, quote, tackle the climate crisis, make climate consideration an essential element on foreign policy and national security. And here we go. This is what you just talked about. Pauses new oil and gas leases on public lands, federal lands, offshore waters, directs federal agencies to eliminate fossil fuel subsidies and calls to double renewable energy production from offshore wind by 2030. Also establishes a civilian climate core. Do you think Texas can successfully push back on these executive orders? Protect itself? Absolutely. A absolutely. You know, we've done it in the past. So when I was first elected, I, I got elected in the middle of the Obama administration. We successfully, uh, in the courthouse, won a, won a bid to abolish hydraulic fracturing in Texas at the city level. We've also fought back on the Endangered Species Act and in other in measures that were undertaken by the left, not only in state government, but federal government. So uh, historically, if you look at you know Texas, we've been able to maintain our state lands since the Republic days of, of 1836. So I'm, I'm confident. But but even people like Obama, you know, even though they were against the Keystone Pipeline, they didn't sign an executive order shutting down an important infrastructure piece in a partnership with uh, Canada and making sure that we can be energy secure. I mean, I would rather we create American jobs and leverage American resources rather than relying upon the, uh, the Middle East right. and, and other sources of foreign foreign energy jobs from Canada down to the Gulf Coast affected with the stroke of a pin George P Bush Texas Land Commissioner thanks for your time this morning good to be with you all right take care